Professional boxing returns to the capital tomorrow night when the um, South London promoter Mick Hennessy puts on um, puts on Tyson Fury, the gloriously named unbeaten heavyweight, against um, and, and, his, and, and Shepherds Bush John O'Donnell at York Hall, Bethnal Green. The show is part of Showtime's Next Generation series. Fury fights rich superpower. The American is unbeaten in 12 with nine knockouts. Go on, son. Tyson is unbeaten 11 with nine knockouts. That sounds nice. O'Donnell, a former Commonwealth champion, fights 1996 Olympic bronze medalist Terence uh, Corfin in the other main attraction. I had Tyson on a couple of weeks ago, so tonight I've got Mick. Bring the heat. Hennessy on. Mick, how are you, son? <laughs> Steve, how you doing? I tell you what, I was over there. I was over there with you today, Mick, at the, your call to, for these guys, Rich to Power and Tyson Fury, Rich Superpower. They're, ain't, I tell you what, they're the two best-looking heavyweights I've ever seen. They're both about six foot seven, six foot eight, six foot nine. They absolutely fancy, don't they? This one, they both knock each other out. This can't go three rounds, can it? You wouldn't think so, Steve. At a press conference today, I mean, it was proper fighting talk. It was. And, uh, it was. You know, them two together, is uh, it's a shame that uh, it didn't come about until 10 weeks before the fight. But as you say, them two on a poster would be fantastic. Wouldn't They're it both, just? Both massive heavyweights and um, and good-looking kids. But uh, he, he can certainly speak um, rich. rich superpower. So... Uh, He's 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 coming he's coming to win. I mean he don't know he, he don't know how to lose and uh, he's no, a good he puncher. Yeah. And this is um this is a real hard fight. Now what what I like about this is that is that obviously with Showtime you know being a backing from Showtime obviously there's are still tickets available for thirty five quid. Uh, but the what I like about this is that so it's a good international fight isn't it, at this level. You're not in, he's not undermatched. He's not overmatched. It's perfect matching. But more than that. It's entertaining because you've got unbeaten heavyweights and no one likes... This the most, that's the most popular thing in boxing, unbeaten heavyweights who knock each other out. Yeah, without question, Steve. I mean, I, I love this style of promoting because... Yeah. It's so easy. Th th yeah, <laughs> well... No, you know, within reason, I mean. Yeah, reason. It, it's just, it's old school. I yeah, mean, it is old school. You, you know, we're not messing with any, with any bogus titles. We've basically got... You know, we've got we've got two great fighters representing the UK and Ireland in John O'Donnell and Tyson Fury, yep. and they're going up against two quality Americans. And and you, you, as I say, no bogus titles, just quality fights. And especially with you know with the heavyweights, I mean, you know, until a kid's been beaten, you don't know what's in the tank. Of course do you? not. You so don't know what's going to happen to him. It's um, it's it's definitely. If anyone was at that press conference today, you know, it went off with these two, and you can see how much passion there was between the two heavyweights. So. You know, it's, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited as the promoter of this event. Um, but obviously, you know, I want Tyson to uh, look the business and do the business on the night. Yeah, you know the uh, the, the, the thing with, with this, Mike, you're absolutely right about big heavyweights. You know, you can get them five wins, ten wins, fifteen wins. Now, we both know that Tyson's brave and got guts. In fact, his guts and his bravery, you know, possibly get in the way of him fighting sensibly sometimes, if you don't mind me saying so. He does let, he, he does let, he does let his um, heart rule his head on occasions, doesn't he? Yeah, he could make he could make things a lot easier if he... Yeah, I like agree with you. If he used his jab more and worked off angles and, and boxed a bit more... But he just, as he said at the press conference today, he loves entertaining the fans. Nothing gives him more pleasure. <laughs> and uh, he just let, he just likes letting go. He's got quick hands. He's a great combination puncher. And, you know, that that is his fault, really. He gets involved in punch-ups too much. Oh, listen, you, you, you shouldn't, as long as he always wins on the other side, it doesn't make any difference, does it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And, uh, and just quickly, Corfin, uh, I saw him at the Olympics. Uh, he looks like a big old welterweight today against John O'Donnell, and it's going to be a good win for John. I think it's a, it's a, it's a nice one. This puts him, it sort of, it puts him sort of right up there, right at the top of this as English Mitch. It also gives you options elsewhere. Definitely, he's, he's, he's a quality operator. And what it is for me, Steve, I see too many British hyped prospects yeah. who get brought along, and you know, the first time they meet an American is is probably for a you know a world title fight. Yeah. And, and they have the floor wiped with them. And I just believe that more British opposition needs to face, um, you know, quality opposition like this to, to learn their trade. And if, um, you know, Corfin's the type of kid, he's, he's, he's a classy kid, he's a gatekeeper at world level, yeah, yeah. and it's the sort of fight that John has to win in style yeah, um, to prove he's a world-class fighter so I can move him onto a world title. Yeah, listen, so that, that's tomorrow night at your call. It's... Um it's uh, doors open at six o'clock. First fight six thirty. It's thirty five pounds uh, tickets. Listen, Mick. Thanks for your time. Good luck with uh, Tyson and the boys tomorrow. I'll speak to you very soon. Steve, don't forget it's on Premier Sports as well on Sky Channel four three three. Yeah, that's the new one. Okay. For, uh, thanks very much, Mick Hennessy.